what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? The CEO of Papa John's Pizza is in a bit of hot water right now, y'all. He's hemorrhaging financially because he blamed his loss in revenue sales on the NFL protest. A lot of people took exception to that. Many people who said that, hey man, since you want to blame the NFL protesters, we're not going to eat any of your pizza. We're not ordering your pizza. Now I've been noticing in the media, many of these outlets, when they talk about people losing money because of the boycott, they like to talk about those people who have boycotted the NFL because they don't agree with the protest. But they're not talking about the effect that the people who do agree with the protest is having on the bottom line. They're trying to make it their thing, like, oh, the reason why the NFL is losing money is strictly because you have people out here disrespecting the flag and we're not going to stand for it, so therefore, we're going to hit your bottom line. Yeah, you may not have a lot of black people who actually attend games, but they watch the hell out of those games at home. And that accounts for a whole lot of ad revenue. Millions upon millions of ad revenue. So yeah, they losing a lot of money. And black people aren't the only ones protesting. There's a lot of white people out there protesting. That's a story they don't want to tell y'all. They try to make it just a black and white thing. There's a lot of uh, Hispanics out there protesting. But they try to make it seem like it's just a black and white issue. <laughs> Got to be ready and willing and able to read between these lines, man. They said that Jerry Jones probably had something to do with the owner of Papa John's blaming the NFL protest on his declining sales because Jerry Jones is an owner of 100 Papa John's pizzas. And Papa John's is also the Cowboys sponsor. I wouldn't put it past him. They're saying that Jerry Jones probably put a bug in his ear saying, hey man, you know, make sure you bring up the fact that the reason why sales are so weak is because of this damn protest and you need to go at Roger Goodell and tell him to take a stand and do something about it. Wouldn't put it past him at all. Papa John's is also being trolled by a couple of pizza companies, Pizza Hut and the frozen pizza company, The Journal. The Journal is really laying into them. The uh, Journal said that our sales are doing just fine. They said this on Twitter. And they also mocked uh, Papa John's slogan, which is better ingredients, better pizza. They went to Twitter and said, better pizza, better sales. They also posted on Twitter a picture of a slice of pizza and the, uh, what's that lightning bolt going up, which basically showing uh, an incline in sales for their quarter for this quarter and right underneath that they show another piece of slice and <laughs> a downward uh, a down bolt basically you know showing that uh, Papa John's has declining sales and shit is funny to me <laughs> but here's the deal I've never been a fan of Papa John's pizza uh, hey, he got a great backstory and all of that stuff with his father dying and he taking over the business at 23 years old and putting his sister and brother through college and all of that stuff. He had that gut check moment. Oh, that's beautiful. But, 
He stuck his foot in his mouth when he blamed declining sales on the protesters. The irony here is that he ended up losing even more money because he pissed people off. <laughs> they say he lost like $70 million of his net worth. They say he was worth somewhere in the neighborhood of 800000 I mean, $800 million. But, you know, still big bank, but $70 million is $70 million. I tried Papa John's pizza once, and quite frankly, that was enough. The cardboard that the pizza comes in tastes better. I wouldn't eat Papa John's pizza if they gave it to me free. No more talk. What, what the ladies talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.